Hey, what's up, Street Talks? The Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So today I'm gonna to give you guys a brief tutorial on how to make a slideshow of your pictures. One of the biggest benefits of using iMovie and a Mac is that you could create an interactive video slideshow of your images and it kind of gives you a better sense of storytelling and to essentially you become a director and you could direct the viewer in terms of how they consume your images in terms of the pace you could change the music and it's another way for you to interact with your viewer so to give you guys a brief introduction just you know assuming you're using a mac click the little search icon search iMovie open up that bad boy then click create new click movie so far so good and the next step what you guys just have to do is just choose some pictures that you guys want to to look through. So I currently have all my images organized through Dropbox and I recommend Dropbox so in case your computer crashes it's good. Under pictures 2017 I got my Berlin version 2 and in order to look at all these images what I'll do is press command A spacebar click this top left corner and then I'll navigate through these images. So let's say I like all these images. You can see these different versions of some post-processing that I did on Cindy's picture. She said she liked this faded version. I did this on uh, Adobe Creative Cloud, pretty cool. And let's say that last picture. Anyways, so let's say I wanna add these images and just X this up. So I have all these images selected. And once again, the way you could select all the images, you can just click left click, drag, or just click any of them, click, Command A, which is the hotkey to select all, and then hold left click and then drag these into the module here. By default, the way iMovie works is if you press the spacebar, it gives you this kind of cheesy Ken Burns effect where it's zooming in and zooming out. Personally, I don't really like it. I think it's just a bit, you know, very 90s. So what I'll do instead is I'll turn that off. So in order to turn that off, press Command A, press the crop tool, and under style, click fit plus. And now if I go to the beginning and press spacebar, you could see the slideshow is going to progress without that cheesy Ken Burns effect. The next step I recommend you guys to do is to change the length of each image. By default, it's four seconds, which I don't know about you, I have ADHD, I cannot wait that long to look at an image. I think nowadays about two seconds is good. So what I do is I'll click left click one of the images, press command A, press the I icon, and under duration, I'll press 2.0, enter. And you could suddenly see all the images have condensed and now all the images are two seconds. And if you're not sure, you could just hover over it to see what it is. And you can see there's three different versions of Cindy I post process, kind of like this hipster faded look. These other ones I don't like, so I'll select it, I'll press delete, select it and press delete on the keyboard. All right, so, so far so good. Now I go to the beginning, press the space bar, and now the, each image has about two seconds, which is good for me to consume. Now I open up the finder, and it's your job to choose some music to go to the slideshow. I've made some beats myself. I've used this. I've used GarageBand. I can maybe give you guys a tutorial in the future. Anyways, I have this beat and I'll just drag this underneath here, drag it to the beginning. Now you see the problem is according to how long the audio file is or the song, this one is three minutes, but the actual slideshow itself is probably only like eight seconds. And the way you guys could fix this to make sure that the audio is in sync with the slideshow under this little dial here, drag this all the way to the left. And at the end of the audio file, go all the way to the end, hold left click and drag this. Oops. Sometimes it's not, it doesn't listen to you. So you gotta zoom in a little bit. Drag, drag, drag. And, and it's kind of cool, it kind of clicks into place. And if you zoom in even more, you could see and often I just zoom in and out with this little module here just for the sake of navigating the video files. Anyways, so let's go to the beginning now and let's press the space bar to play the sound and the, see the images.
Now you see at the end, it just ended very abruptly. If you wanted the music to fade out, choose the cursor and make sure to choose this little ball here and drag this to the left and you could choose where to start phasing out your music. And honestly, a lot of this is just experimentation, figure out what sounds good to you. So now if you play the same clip again and press the spacebar, now you could kind of hear in terms of the audio that it starts to fade out. And then if I press spacebar again, It ends a little bit abruptly as well, but it's still better than uh, rather than having the hard cut for it to slowly fade out. So let's let's assume I'm done with my audio uh, my slideshow. All you have to do is press the share uh, function in the top right corner, click file. Let's say I'll title this Berlin Diary. And in terms of these settings, I keep this all default resolution 1080p, which is the maximum size and quality quality high. And that's good enough. Compress faster. It just allows you to export faster. I haven't, personally, I haven't seen that much of a difference between faster and better quality, so I just go for faster. You can see my clip is nine seconds long, 25 megs, which is really small. I'll click next. And, you know, I'll just choose wherever I decide to export it. So I have like the slideshow function here, Berlin Diary, and I'll click save. And you can, and then I'll left click this little wheel here. And you could see the progress of the export function. And then I'll click Finder, go to my slideshow folder, and I'll see my Berlin Diary. Double click it. I could play it. And bada bing, bada boom, I got my first little slideshow. And what you could do with this MP4 file, you could choose this and you could upload it to YouTube, you could share it on Facebook, whatever you want to do. So generally what I do is I'll go under Safari, youtube.com slash upload, and I'll click Finder, and I'll just drag and drop this file here to start uploading and then hit publish, assuming I want to publish it. But this is not a very good slideshow, so I'm going to cancel that upload. And the great thing with YouTube is that essentially anyone's allowed to have their own YouTube channel. So I recommend you to start your own YouTube channel, share it on Facebook. It's probably the best ways you guys could do it. In another video, I'll show you guys how to use GarageBand. But once again, the, the benefit of making a slideshow is that it's a much more interactive way. You could reimagine your, your images, you could control the pace, you could control the, the sequence of the images. And I think as a visual artist and a visual storyteller, learning how to make a basic movie is, and slideshow is one of the best ways you could do this as a photographer. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys. If you want to learn more, go on Safari, go on the Google, search Eric Kim blog, and check out, check out my blog to find more free resources on strategies, how to succeed as a modern photographer nowadays, and just kind of scroll around, see if you find anything you like. If you're new, click start here. Check out all my free articles, books, click the, the shop link, and check out some of the products that Cindy and I are currently selling. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out.